welcome back to Peterson Auto. Uh, today we're going to be doing some uh, electrical stuff. So I got this wonderful switch panel, which may or may not be family appropriate there, but uh, I think it's cool. There's going to be an air horn button here. Um, that's the style I was going to go with, the little neur neurals bumps on them. But uh, I really like these style better, they're cleaner and more functional. So, you know, we're going to go with a cleaner look there. So I got another one of this that's just the same style as these coming in for the air horn, which that's uh, unfortunately not there. But I brought, I bought the bracket and then all the switches separately for what I wanted. So here's our bracket with our switches in it. It came with uh, some similar to that other one I just showed you there. Part in the furnace kicking on. It's still cold out. But, uh, yeah, we have uh, everything basically wired up. You have a hot for each uh, circuit and then a ground. Which grounds are at the bottom there. So you have a hot coming into the light, a hot coming into the switch, and then you have a power out. Very simple switches to wire. The uh, two here I have are up-down. That's going to be for uh, airbag drop. So we're going to have up for... The air valve, which you can probably see in the background here, well, some of it, where the air valve will do its thing and uh, level the suspension automatically. We'll have neutral, which is basically going to just lock everything out air-wise. It's not going to allow it to dump. It's not going to allow it to um, air up on its own either. And then we'll have down for hitching things up or setting it on jack stands when I want to work on it, whatever we got there. So, uh, we're going to do front and rear for the up-down. So, if I'm backing up to the trailer, you know, I get kind of close, I hit the down, it'll drop the air suspension out, it'll activate the dump valve, and then after it activates the dump valve, I can back under it. Oh, that one will still be up, most likely, depending on, you know, height and all, but uh, then I can just go ahead and push this back to up. And it'll automatically air up like it needs to. These are just basic lights, and that's going to be a horn. Very simple wiring on those. Basically, power in, power out. Um, makes it super easy. But we'll give you this one as an example here. So that is going to match up basically with what you see here. So the bottom two are grounds for each circuit. This and this are going to be your hots coming in. If you want it switched ignition, put a switched ignition on this this hot here. And then that could go to your lighting source if you wanted. Because this one's going to power the light. That's just going to make that light be on all the time. And then this here is going to be your power into the actual switch. And this one is going to be your power out to whatever... That one there is going to be your power out to whatever you're doing. So, we're going to set these up. We're going to actually put them in the gauge pod. Just to give you a quick little rundown here of the rest of the wiring, I'm going to reset up the camera quick. Okay, so I'm not going to show you every last millimeter, but uh, we got our two valves here, okay? Uh, this valve is our dump valve and this is our fill valve. So what's going on here is when we go ahead and wire this up, these are normally closed valves to open them you need to put power to them. So one of these wires is going to be ground. They're not specific. They don't really care. One of them's going to go to ground. The other goes to power. So when I have it in the up position, we're going to control this all with relays. I'm thinking I might run direct power, but I think the re relay is going to be a better way to go. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's not really high load, so it probably can go right through the switch. Either way, when the valve's in the up position, this valve here, the uh, fill valve, is going to be open. And that'll allow air to come into the system and fill the backs. Now, when I go to neutral, they're both going to be closed, which means no air's coming into the system and no air's coming out of the system either. Then when you put it to the down position, this valve is going to be closed and this valve will be open. What's that going to do? Well, that's going to allow the air to run out this hose, which is so nice and neatly tucked up under this cross member here. 
it's going to allow the air to run out of that hose and dump the rear suspension down for backing on your trailers or loading or whatever else you might be doing, you know, even like a dresser, that extra six inches makes it so much better to get a dresser up onto a pickup truck bed. So all that kind of stuff. Um, so along with all that, we're going to have wires, they're going to run up front, they're going to run up to the switch panel, I'm going to probably have relays in there like I said. Um, probably make a quick short other video on how to uh, deal with those relays because those are common relays we use them for a lot of things and they're very functional um, but if I don't use relays I can use some straight power At this point we're just gonna run some wires and uh, you know come back with things uh, kind of hooked up I can only go so far because the gauge pod those switches are mounting and isn't quite done yet but I can get the wiring in place and everything ready to go for that time so, you know, we can at least get to uh, that point in the project. So at this point, that's what we're going to do. Get some wires ran, I think. Alright, so you can see there's a little tag up there. This is going to be the front bags dump wiring. Or dump and normal operation wiring there. Uh, the dump wire is the black wire. We got a wire up here. This is for the quote-unquote headlights switch it's also uh, they're gonna be the off-road lights actually I just like that switch and couldn't find it in off-road lights offhand or something I forget but either way I have that one we got a couple relays mounted down here by the horns they're gonna well they're not mounted yet they're gonna mount up on the inner fender and then we have a bunch of wiring inside ready to go in when the dash goes in and some more back here so we also have these two hooked up I need to run grounds with an eyelet for these and that's gonna really be about it for the wiring today um, that means I just need to finish up that gauge pod and get that done so quick update for what I did today what we got done not much but it's something um, we're gonna keep going and keep keep at it until we keep getting things done enough to the point where it's done done so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe to Peterson Auto.